Happy New Year everyone, I'm Celeste from The Girl in the Cafe and today I'm going to show you how to make a coffee using an Aeropress. Now you've probably seen loads of photos and videos of me using one and making coffee, but I realized recently that I hadn't actually shown you how to make one using the Aeropress and what equipment it all comes with and that you need. Last year I was fortunate to be one of the judges in the World Aeropress Championships held here in London. There were over 60 competitors so I was able to taste and experience loads of different brew methods and recipes. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make an inverted Aeropress using one of the recipes that I've been using for years. And the reason why I'm sharing this with you today is because it's my go-to recipe, it's simple and it always makes a really good cup of coffee. Now the Aeropress coffee has slightly more body than say a pour over filter coffee. The Aeropress makes a really good cup of coffee, especially if you're a traveler like me, it makes for a really good companion because it's light, it's easy to pack, it's not breakable and you can reuse it. it. There's no other equipment that you need. You just need something to boil the water and you don't even need scales. So let's go through all the equipment that comes with an Aeropress. What you'll get when you get an Aeropress is the chamber or tube, the main part of it. You'll get the press or the plunger which actually goes in here and you use that to press down. Uh, you'll get a cap which goes into these grooves here and then you twist it to lock it down. That's really important. You'll get a funnel-y thing which I will tell you later why it's so handy. And a little stirrer thing. You'll get a scoop. And you'll also get some filter papers. Now, hot tip. Instead of using one, use two or three filter papers and be sure to rinse them first. Just pop them into the cap and pour some hot water through. Just make sure that you don't burn your fingers. Also, if you're traveling with filter papers, you can tuck a few into the base of the base of the Aeropress. I've been using metal filters lately. Uh, this one's a really cool rainbow one. I will pop some suggestions of some metal filters in the description box down below. But I really like these because they're easy to use, they're really easy to rinse and clean, and you'll never run out of filter papers. Okay, let's make a coffee, shall we? So to make an inverted Aeropress, pop the rubber base into the top of the main chamber. Now just near the top, make sure that it's close to the edge but in far enough so that it doesn't leak and that there's a good seal around here. Now flip it over so that it's inverted. Get your coffee. Now the great thing about the scoop is if you fill it level, it will give you about 18 grams. Now we are using 20 grams of coffee, so I'm just going to fill it up slightly heat and just pop it in, give it a bit of a shake, and then make it boil your water. Now if you're using a kitchen kettle, it's best not to use boiling hot water, so just open the lid and let it sort of cool down for maybe a minute or so before you use it. Just wait. Okay, so I'm really lucky at the moment, I'm using a gooseneck kettle, but the great thing about the Aeropress is that you really, you don't need a kettle with a gooseneck. You can just use a regular nibbed uh, kitchen kettle. So with this recipe, it's 20 grams of coffee in. We pour it up to the second dot here. So I'm giving it a bit of a stir to make sure that all the coffee grinds are saturated. Wait for about 30 seconds for that just to sort of brew. And if your coffee's fresh, it should make a really nice bloom and smell incredible. Now pour the rest of the water in right up until 
almost to the top. The great thing about this is that this chamber is about 250 mils. So again, you won't need a scale. And another thing that's cool is if you are taking this traveling, you don't have to bring a grinder because you can, if you're going away for two days, you can totally just pre-grind your coffee. Now I would always suggest that you grind your beans fresh uh, because that is best. You're going to get the best cup of coffee out of that. If we're going for convenience and you don't have much room in your cabin luggage, you don't want to be taking all sorts of extra equipment with you. So it's totally fine if you're going away for a couple of days or maybe a week max to pre-ground some coffee. Get the cafe or you, if you've got a grinder at home yourself, grind it on a medium grind to fine grind. Anything in between there should be good to go. Uh, now the next part is optional. You can give it another stir again. I like to give it another little stir just to make sure that everything is all mixed in and saturated and even. And then basically leave it for a minute 20 to a minute and a half to brew. Now during that time that you're waiting for your coffee to brew, you can be rinsing your filter papers and getting it ready. I'm using my metal filter today, so don't need to rinse that. I'm gonna pop this on top into the grooves, and then I'm going to twist it clockwise so that it locks the cap in. Now I would usually use my TGITC cup because it's dope as, but also because it's really wide and also solid and it's, you've got to get a mug that is going to be able to take the pressure and the weight of your AeroPress because I've used a paper cup before and an on a plane and that just didn't work <laughs> very well. But today for the purpose of the video I'm going to use a clear cup so you can see the coffee coming out. So the next bit is the trickiest bit. You need to flip this onto the coffee cup. So it's twist and flip. Twist and flip. Kind of like bend and snap, but not really, but you know what I mean. Okay, so you want to twist and flip. That's pretty good. The other day someone mentioned to me that they, when they were pressing down, some coffee was coming out. So uh, this is what this funnel is for. So you can put it, if you want to, you can put it into your cup and it fits in like that and you can press down and it'll all be contained in there. But when I'm traveling, I generally just travel with this. Uh, I don't travel with my uh, stirrer. I don't actually travel with my scoop because I usually bring uh, a grinder or I usually bring scales but you wouldn't need scales if you bought this and I don't bring the funnel thing either so we can do it without the funnel today so after the 1 minute 20 uh, 1 minute 30 of brewing time and you've flipped it over all you need to do is press really evenly down it'll create some pressure in that chamber and it's pushing there's a little bit of air that is pushing the water through the coffee which makes for a really nice strong brew now at the end you might hear a little hiss or fizz like that. Don't press it straight down because you don't want to kind of over extract and press all of the uh, the water through the coffee. It's kind of like squeezing a tea bag. I kind of I don't really do that either because you you get sort of all the dregs and the the tannins from that. So I just do it when I I stop when I hear the fizz and then I flip it upside down and it's ready to drink. Another quick thing I just want to tell you uh, to finish this off is that this is really easy to clean. All you need to do is twist the cap, take it off, 
if you've got paper filters in there just leave them on um, because I've got a metal filter I just slide that across to leave as much of the coffee in there as possible it's pretty much come out clean though and then just press the rest of the coffee so and just press the remaining bit into your compost and it should come out pretty clean uh, then all you need to do is give it a little rinse under the tap along with this and you're good to go so mm, it's really good I hope you enjoyed this video and that it helped you if you are new to the AeroPress or you're thinking about getting one. If you did like this video, hit the like button and if you're watching it on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. Uh, I would love to hear from you guys if you've got any feedback or any suggestions and ideas on what you'd like to see more of from me this year. I'm, I'd love to hear from you go to thegirlinthecafe.co.uk. You'll also find loads of blogs on there, uh, and I've added some sections uh, on recipes, drink recipes, food recipes, and also a part of my uh, health and fitness journey on there as well, because coffee plays a huge part in those areas of my life, and so I just really wanted to share that with you if it can help you in any way and also inspire you. So thanks so much for watching today, and. Enjoy your day.